So, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, daughter of Khadija. I hope that you're in the best of health and iman. I am so happy to be finding you guys again, and I just want to share some thoughts of mine with you. Like the beauty of being Muslim is that no matter in what situation you find yourself, no matter how you're feeling, no matter how what is going on in the world outside of you around you you know that you have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have Islam so you are always victorious in that sense that you will be happy I can promise you like you will be happy and I have observed in my own life that when you make Allah the only most important uh, Thing being in your life everything will fall down into its place automatically you won't feel like you are caught up in that inner struggle that conflict all that drama all that darkness like trying to be um, surviving amid, amidst all these chaotic forces you won't feel like that and I am speaking from a place of uh, deep suffering I have known deep suffering I have read a lot of books I have experienced so much I am very passionate about psychology or literature um, just uh, philosophy and practically everything I am a very open-minded person and I love I love hearing opinions different from mine I am not resistant to change and I really am very open to to um, open to experiencing the maximum of things in life which are positive and I try to observe and learn and make conclusions for my own well-being as for, especially and also for uh, the well-being of humanity because I believe that if you have learned something which is beneficial for you you should not keep it just to yourself you should try to share it and I know that many of us we are lost we are confused we don't know which is which Especially in today's world, we are influenced so much, we are connected so much, we are invaded and, and flooded by so much information that it becomes all the more confusing and you have a lot of distraction. So I had not been aware of that danger of distraction until some months ago, I would say. So the thing is, I'm the type of person, like contrarily to what you might think while watching me in my in, in this attire right now. So I am very, very, um, like I'm always doing things. I'm very active. So you'll always find me trying to read and understand and observe and try to think for myself how I can lead the happiest uh, most productive and authentic and healthy life possible uh, while thinking of my life after this after death also so i have noticed that in today's world i think the shaitan plays a lot on our ego on our ego he knows that we all have that deep yearning for attention for fame for likes for beauty for approval for love for any kind of thing it might be and therefore when it comes to social media and all we feel the need to go out there and put ourselves out there and try to attract likes and attention and approval and and sometimes you know people from the opposite sex and of course that is not very healthy it's not a very healthy basis to be trying to do that and there is a problem deep within yourself if you are doing that you should find your contentment within yourself and you should not try to objectify yourself by putting yourself out there as if for sale and um, also sometimes we have many things which are more important in our lives many goals for example prayer is more important uh, devoting your life to islam is more important eating right exercising learning having a job and uh, just um, maintaining bonds with friends and family are more important and spreading the message of allah is very very important trying to improve yourself as, as a human being is very important but losing time on social media on swiping on your phone or just you wasting time on the internet watching what others are doing is not a good thing if you love yourself you will not be doing that and you will be really trying to use your time well I always think that Allah has blessed us with so many things alhamdulillah and time is a huge huge gift that we probably take for granted time we should thank Allah for time we should ask him to give us barakah 
prosperity and in our time so that we may spend a life that we have really that has been useful we have not just been killing time on our phones and please be very careful of that distraction trap because without realizing you will find yourself being distracted by many things especially with the internet and you are not doing the more important things in your life so these are just a couple of my thoughts that i wanted to share with you thanks for watching this video so uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and email me if you have any queries related to islam i'll be very happy to help you and to hear from you and just let me know what you think about any of the points that i highlighted and if you want to add something then most welcome so on that note assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone